Hey, what's up you guys? So, I thought I would start a new series called Hashtag Movie Monday. So, since it's Monday, happy Hashtag Movie Monday. So, I thought for Movie Monday, I'm gonna explain what this is. I would watch a movie and then review it and just kind of talk about like my thoughts. So, I got my MacBook here so I can like read like the description and like all about it so for this movie monday i watched brain on fire which is on netflix and i have it pulled up on imdb which you can't see because it's all bright but anyways um i'll read you like the little like storyline plot thing that it says it says oh also disclaimer i'm sick so if i sound sick i am <laughs> so storyline the film follows the harrowing experience of a writer struggling with a rare neurological disease from when she first suffers symptoms to the many attempts at diagnosing it and the eventual discovery of the real cause of her illness. Based on the book Brain on Fire, the true story of Susanna Cahalan, a journalist for the New York Post. So this is based on a true story, which whenever anything is like based on a true story, I'm like, okay, this is serious because like those things like scare me because it's like, oh my gosh, this could like happened in real life and it did happen in real life so like that's just scary and is rated pg-13 so let me tell you my thoughts and kind of a little bit more about it but no spoilers in case you guys want to watch it for yourself so it starts off with this girl whose name is Susanna and she works for the New York Post and she's just like a journalist she like writes stories and stuff and she starts getting like weird symptoms and she kind of starts thinking oh maybe i have like the flu because they're kind of like flu-like symptoms but like nobody can give her like a really good concrete answer because she like goes to the doctors and stuff and like just like nobody really knows what is going on with her and she starts getting more and more symptoms and she just seems very disconnected and her brain just like wanders a lot and she can't like focus and she just seems very confused and at one point she starts like like hallucinating or imagining things like she imagines or hallucinates that there's a leak in her faucet and I don't know it's just it's very interesting and the way that I don't know who the actress is but the way that she like portrays everything that is happening to her is amazing and it ends up getting very serious and part of the reason why is because nobody knows what's wrong with her so she ends up in the hospital but I thought overall it was a very good movie it was very interesting and I'm just into like a lot of like health things like not really like like doctory things because like that stuff like grosses me out but like psychology stuff like that stuff just kind of interests me, so it was very interesting. And I found this movie on Netflix one day, and I was like, hey, how about I just watch her in the movie? So it seemed interesting, so I clicked on it, and I've watched it three times now, because it's just really good. And um, I made my mom watch it the other day, and she didn't think she was gonna like it, but she actually thought it was very interesting. And it's based off of a true story, and it's kind of cool because when Susanna's in the hospital, she has like, she has like a main doctor who's like working to try to figure out what she has. And at the end of the movie, they show a picture of like the real life Susanna and her doctor together. Um, and it's just like, it's, it's like, it's so cute and I just love it. And one of the things that I found interesting was like, all throughout the whole movie, they're trying to diagnose Susanna because they can't figure out what she possibly has. They they think she has, like, a bunch of things, and they keep changing what they think she has because they just can't figure it out. Like, they thought maybe she's bipolar, maybe she's schizophrenic. Like, they just don't know. So, one of the things that this doctor did, which I thought was very interesting because, like, this stuff is interesting to me, is he has her draw a clock. And apparently, like, they can determine by, like, your drawing of a clock what is or what 
could not be wrong with you or what could possibly be wrong with you based on how you draw the clock. And the way she drew the clock was she drew like a circle, but she only, she wrote the numbers 1 through 12 where 1 through 6 would be. And, like, I'm not a doctor, so I don't know stuff. But, like, apparently that means something to, like, the doctors. Like, um, if you only draw on half the clock, that, like, means something. And that was just, like, very interesting because, like, my mom said, like, um, like, this has been a test done to, like, some of my relatives to, like, diagnose, like, what they have. Um, so she was like, oh, that makes sense. And, like, this is, like, interesting. They, like, did that. And, like, I don't know. It was very interesting. And it was cool that it's based off of a true story because then it's, like, oh, this is, like, real. And, like, now it's, like, getting more awareness out because, like, it's based off of this neurological disease that she has. And... They didn't know that she had it because it was, like, really rare. So now it's, like, kind of, like, getting awareness out there. I don't know. It's just, it was very interesting to see, like, the acting of it all. Because, like, she kind of goes crazy. And it was just, it was very interesting. And it was very well done. And I loved it. And, like, five stars. <laughs> like, I loved it so much. It was such a great movie. And, I don't know, I just found it interesting. And I wanted this to be my first hashtag movie Monday because I thought it was really good. So if you guys are looking for something to watch and you have Netflix, I would recommend watching Brain on Fire. It's very good, very interesting. I would rate it five stars. I think I'm going to rate all of the movies on what I thought of them. So I thought it was really good. Five out of five stars. I thought it was amazing. I really liked it. So if you've seen Brain on Fire or you go and watch it, Comment down below your thoughts on it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I'd be very interested to hear because I really liked it. <laughs> um, what did you find interesting about it? Just any of your thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts. So if you guys enjoyed this hashtag movie Monday, give me a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any other movies that you want me to watch. I have Netflix and Amazon Prime, um, but I don't have like cable or anything so if you suggest things they have to be on Netflix or Amazon Prime otherwise I can't see them anywhere <laughs> um so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed hit that subscribe button turn on my post notifications and I'll see you guys in my next video bye